Hi, welcome to Start PHP. This is Absolute Beginner's Guide to a PHP for loop. So for loop is plays a very crucial rule in writing PHP code. Everywhere that you see multiple items is displayed, either they are coming from an array or they are coming from a MySQL database or some other source with an, and some index reference to it. So either a reference of index or just occurrence of items, for loop will help us to go through each item, as we call it, iterate, and then print or use that data or manipulate or do some action. So let me explain and go practically about it. So as you can see here, so it, it, it starts with a for loop so this is what we call initializer it says i equals zero we set a variable i b t whatever you like so i is the most common people use so i is equal zero and then at this point this is a separator so we have one value another value a semicolon another so we have three the second one this one is comparison so this compares i with something here i just put directly six but you can put a variable and then we have i incremented this can be decremented or ca some other type of calculation so this is opening and this is closing of curly parenthesis whatever is between these two this and this so this will be executed so this for loop is printing from zero to six so it, it starts with zero and then one two three and there is a break line so print i whatever is the value of i and then break so break is shown here so we see it in each line one digit so zero to six now let's see how this prints up to six and exits so that's the beauty of this so let me explain it now so it starts here by initializing so this is how it starts after it starts it goes here comparison so compares initially i is equal to zero i smaller or equal than six so this is true so it, this compares is i smaller or equal than six true if that is true then it comes and executes whatever is between these so this line is being executed so after this it comes like that it goes and makes i equal one so i is zero now i becomes one after this it comes here and then compares i and now one is smaller or equal than six if it's true it comes so in this case this is true it comes and prints this so as you can see here we are now you can see here we are getting one here and then after printing one it goes and makes it equal two so increments it to two now two is smaller than six print come here make it three three is smaller than six and then print it as you can see here now make it four and then compare four is smaller than six print and then five is smaller than six print after five it makes it six six is smaller or equal six true so it prints six this last one after this this comes and makes it seven is seven smaller than six or equal no so this is false this loop exits whatever comes after this line will be executed this way the for loop can have an exit strategy or exit point which triggers through something and mm, continues until the condition this condition fails so to make it simple and then let's just uh, so one more time this is initializer so this is initializer and this is comparison and this one is increment or decrement or some other way of changing it so as you can see here my WAMP server is running so Windows Apache MySQL is running you can see here when I type start PHP that's what I'm getting so this is the folder that I have start PHP tutorial and here my uh, local host my uh, this is a folder tutorial that you see here so this is a tutorial folder let me create a file here loop let me call it loop loops so the location goes directly in start PHP that's fine 
Okay, so let's create a for loop. I've created the loop dollar i here. You can see initialize it with zero, and here let me put six. So this loops goes, and here this is incrementing it, and it prints to run it. I just click run and run file, and here you can see it prints zero to six. So here it prints from zero to six. Now, if you change this equal sign, you will see that when the, when the last time this becomes six, after five, after printing five, then six is not smaller than six, so this will exit. So which means this will print up to five. Let me just refresh this. So you see it prints up to five. Very important to know if you don't have equal sign, you will not just have this value. So always remember if you want this number to be printed, just put equal sign and it will go up to this. Also, you can start from three and this will print from three to five. Start from three to five. So sometimes you can start from the other way. Let's go um, to decrement it here. So I'm using now decrement. This minus minus means decrement. So initially it prints, uh, it, this is 10. After this it goes 10 is big bigger than 6. True. Come here and print it. Prints 10, decrements it to 9. 9 is, compare here, 9 is big, bigger than 6. Print. So now we have 9, 9 minus minus become 8 and so forth. 7, good. When it becomes six, six is not there. So ten up up to uh, up to six is printed. Up to seven. So ten, nine, eight, seven. If you want to go up to zero, just print this zero. So it it will go now equal or bigger than zero. So 10 up to 0, it will print. So now let's have a look at this one. Uh, before the PHP tag, I put table and also closing the PHP tab uh, tag, and I'm putting the closing table. So this is, in terms of validity, this is not valid because we don't have other tags, but for purpose of t tutorial, to make the page simple and clean, we can do this. So. This is opening of PHP and that is a closing. So this is PHP code and here between these two, this is also PHP code, the closing. So this is table row. So this will print the same from 10 to zero. 11 times it prints the row. Let me make it start from five to zero. So this prints So this starts from one to five. So this starts from one to five and prints this, so table. So this thing, this whole code that I highlighted will be printed for each item. So let me run the code. So one, two, three, four, five. You don't see the difference because we don't see the code. So I press control U to see the so this is printed by each, so one, and then this prints with a second iteration, and this is a third iteration, fourth, and fifth. But here, I just added plus one. So what it means is that initially with i is equal one, this prints two, because when it compares, compares it here, one is smaller than 15, this means one plus i. So i is 1, that will become 2. So we have 2, and it becomes 3. So compares, that's true. So 3 plus 1 is 4. So it prints 4, and so forth. And the final value, so here, so it's 14. And now see what happens why it's 16. So when 14 is printed here, it comes here 15. 15 is smaller or equal than 15, that's true. Then it becomes 16 and prints it. Okay, so that's one example. Now, I've moved this to the bottom so that, that item will be printed and then incremented. So let's see. So one, three, and here you see the number that's printed one less than before. 
So this was 14, now it's 13, and 15 was smaller than that. So that's less than 16 have been printed. If you can do the calculation here, for example, plus 5. So this will not affect your calculation. So let me run it. So initially this is printing 6. That is correct because that's 1. 1 plus 5 is 6. So now this is printing 6. But the problem is that this number is i has not changed. So now this was 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. So now 2 is smaller than 15, comes here, 2 plus 5 is 7. So you can see here, it, this is 7. 7 is printed. So this is not changing the i, except it's printing it. Be careful, so here are the value, it goes up to 19 and then at 20 it exits. Let's say when it prints 19, what happened? So, so this is, the total is 19. Okay, so when it's 19, subtract 5, so this must be 14, correct? So this goes here and becomes 15, 15 is smaller than that, that's correct. So i is now 15, 15 plus 5 is 20, so it's printed. But here it becomes 21 and that fails. That's the reason we have 20 here. If you want to have another table, um, Let's say we just want to print the actual i, and then the next field should print the i with a with value. So now you will see the actual i. So that is i equal 1, and then the next field plus 5. That's 2 plus 5 and 3 plus 5, all of those 15 plus 5. So that's, you can see that you can print table details. So each cell of the table is called table details. And that fails. That's the reason we have 20 here. If you want to have another table, um, let's say we just want to print the actual i, and then the next field should print the i with a with value. So now you will see the actual i. So that is i equal 1, and then the next field plus 5. That's 2 plus 5 and 3 plus 5, all of those 15 plus 5. So that's you can see that you can print table detail. So each cell of the table is called table details. Here another, another example. In this case, in case in, instead of increment, I'm just multiplying it by 2. So i is equal 1, so 1 will be printed, and then this goes here. 1 times 2 is 2, 2 is... So this is 2 and it stores in i. So 2, and it prints 2, and 2 times 2 is 4, and then 8, and then 16, which is smaller than this, and exit. So let's run the code. So 1, 2, 4, 8, and that's it. So we don't get any 16 and exit. Okay, now we have an array, an array with these items, book, pen, banana, apple, phone. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it has 5 items, and the array is called items now this for loop will go from 0 to up to so here we can put count i is smaller than count dollar items so this means the length of this array so so this count gets the len length of array so which is 5 so we say this one goes up to 0 because the always Array index starts from 0 to, so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this goes up to 4 here. And because we started with the 0, that's enough. So then items. And then i changes from 0, 1, 2, 3 up to f 4. Here this is 4. So item, item, this prints 0. So prints first item when this i is 1. It prints pen, 2, banana, and so forth. So let me run the code. So you see here pen, book, pen, banana, apple. So let me show you the source code. Here for each it has printed one table. So this table row is here, but table detail you see is for back. So if you want to add some indent here, 
so we can add like that refresh it you see here table detail printed but the actual code has not changed so this was just formatting it in the source code so this way you can print an item of an array now I have added some stuff here so we have main array and for each element we have an array so this is one element of the ar of the, this array so this is one element with a comma but this is already itself is an array with items so this is array inside array or as some people call it multi-dimensional array so this is another array so each item is an array and then the uh, this array has uh, some key and value so the key is id and the value is zero title is the key and then the value is book so this is a price the key and that is the value so each item now before the for loop starts i put one row with a table header with the three items so id title price so this will be like a column that uh, holds the value for us on the screen and then the for loop goes prints one row which three cells so this is one cell two and three cells and you as you can see here dollar i refers to this array so as if we have zero equal this and then one two three so this i changes from one to zero to four but then we say go to this array with the index zero and get the id and then go to this array and get the title so the same array we are getting so id title and price so this row will be taken so id will be zero title will be book price will be 12. so this continues and printed let me run the code so id is zero book 12 and so forth one two three if you want to put actual dollar because this is price just outside this just put a dollar sign or whatever currency character that you have so now you see that dollar is shown with this that was absolute beginner's guide for for loop in the coming tutorials we will have while and do while loops which are very important as well uh, thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe